Hello YouTube, Canadian Edge here, and we've got a knife review. And today we're looking at the Gerber Sumo. And I carried this for the last couple weeks, been working with it. Uh, not a bad knife, but it's a big knife and it's a heavy knife, and we'll get into that here in just a few moments. So this has a blade length of 3.875 inches. Open it is 8.875 and closed it is 5.125 inches. The steel on this it is a 7CR17 MOV with a drop point blade. And the weight it is 5.35 ounces. So there you can see it's it's weighty. The handle on this it is a G10 with the black and the gray and kind of looks good to me. And one of the things that I liked about it it has red ceramic coated liners and also the barrel spacer back here the two barrel spacers are uh, are ceramic coated and and red gives it a nice look the pocket clip on this it is reversible and i kind of like that pocket clip not a bad pocket clip uh, but it is reversible and it is tip up but not deep carry it has the thumb hole opening, so you can open with the thumb. I'm getting it to the place where it does the reverse flick, but it took a lot of work to get it there, and uh, hoping it'll it'll get better as time goes on. So you do have the two options for opening it, and uh, but one of the main reasons I got this knife was I wanted to see what Gerber was doing with the pivot lock. They call it the pivot lock or the crossbar lock, which a lot of us are familiar with. So I wanted to see how how it was working for, uh, for them. You do have a lanyard hole here at the back as well. And apparently this is on bearings. I haven't taken it apart, but uh, they say in the description that it does have bearings. Not the smoothest for having... <laughs> Well, I shouldn't say that. It is smooth. It's more the detent on it that uh, prevents it from opening as smooth as as I would like it to uh, to work. So it's not quite centered. If you can see that, it is slightly off center, a little bit to the uh, to the left. But that can be fixed if somebody really wants to to fix that. Uh, but the nice part is there is no blade play. This sits nice and solid. And so liking that. Size wise, let's do a little bit of size comparison. For those of you that like smaller knives, we have the Ontario Rat 2. And Benchmade Bug Out. So you can see it's got quite a bit of size compared to those guys and get the bigger knives going here got the Senkut Saxi and you can see that these are big knives to me the Cogent, Sabibi Cogent and the Senkut Saxi but uh, they're again pretty small compared to to the Sumo so any of you guys that like big knives, especially you guys with big hands, you might want to look at, at that guy because it, uh, it's got a big handle on it. Lots of room on the handle. So the 7CR, I have used this for a few things, but it still has a, a good edge on it. You can see it cuts the paper quite easily. We'll get our zip tie out here and some of our cordage and see how it does with that. Cut through that pretty easy. And through that twine pretty easy. Oh, I should add a longer piece here. See if we have enough. Yep, it cuts through that pretty easy as well. So it does have a decently sharp blade on it, um, so you will get some use out of that. And uh, so 
the things that I liked about this knife, I, I like the aesthetics. Um, it's a little different looking knife than a lot of them out there. Uh, especially, I like the red on there. I think that's a nice, nice touch. It, uh, uh, the liners and that, it gives it a nice, nice look. The ergonomics on it are, are quite well. Uh, it feels good in the hand. It's a comfortable grip in the hand. I prefer jimping on here just to give me that extra purchase, but you do have a good grip on it and, uh, and good control with that. Uh, it does have the decent grip on it. So they did texture this a little bit, the G10, so it it's not as slippery as it might look. It actually it gives you a, a good solid grip on there. And the lock seems to be solid. It holds up well. I haven't had any problems with the lock. Works, works good. Um, so no, no worries there. A couple of the things that I was not happy with is um, the pivot was very stiff. If you saw the unboxing, it uh, it took me the last couple of weeks of just opening and closing, opening and closing, putting pivot lubrication on there uh, to get this thing to flick a little bit better and also to, well, now it's not going to do it, to close better. So... So I I prefer a little less uh, stiffness in the in the pivot. The weight of it it is weighty. It's a heavy knife. Um, it would have been nice if they would have skeletonized the uh, the liners a bit so that uh, there's a little less weight. But whatever. If if you like a big heavy knife, that might be a knife for you to look at. It is bulky in the pocket, again, because of the weight and the size of it. You do notice it in the pocket, and it, it is a big knife. So I generally don't carry knives this big, although I will say, um, you know what, I'm, I'm happy with the quality of this knife, the fit and finish. Um, it's, it's, it's good. It makes me happy because I uh, have reviewed a Gerber in the past that I'm not so happy about. But this one, it is uh, it is a little better fit and finish on it, and uh, and feels more like a Gerber quality to me. So this would be a knife that I would recommend, especially like I say for guys with big hands. You got lots of handle there to to work with, so. So it uh, allows the bigger hands to use it. If you're a fan of big knives, this might be one to check out. And I think this is a knife that you uh, you could definitely get a lot of use out of and be rough and tumble with it, and and it'll it'll work for you. Be a great camp knife uh, if you're out camping and that for the weekend and stuff. It would it would be a good knife for that. You could chop small branches and different things with it. And, uh, yeah, it, uh, and for, I forget the exact price of it, 39 bucks or 35 bucks Canadian. It's not that expensive. Um, so it's a good, good budget knife. I would recommend this as a budget knife. This is just bigger than what I carry. So this would not hit my EDC, uh, roll, but, uh, for those of you who who do like the bigger knives, this might be something to look at. I forgot to mention too, um, they did a nice bevel around here on the handles, and it makes it more comfortable and and easier to grip too, which is nice and it looks good too. I like the look of it. So, but yeah, this this will not be an EDC that I carry every day, but it might be something that I as I say, used for camping or, or stuff like that. So, so guys who like big knives, check out the Gerber Sumo. Guys that aren't <laughs> as impressed with the big knives, check it out anyway. See what you think of it. But it might not be something that you want as an everyday carry knife. But it does go in and out of the pocket 
uh, decently. It does stick out, mind you, um, that far out of the pocket. So keep that in mind if you uh, prefer the the deep carry on the on the pocket clip. Gerber Sumo, and probably can find those where Gerber. Okay, wasn't paying attention. Battery ran out on the camera. Let's finish this off. This is the Gerber Sumo. You can find them different places online. I will put a link to uh, Blades Canada where I got it here. You can find them uh, different places, Knife Center, Blade HQ, uh, whatnot. But uh, check the description if you're uh, wanting the link for that. And they are an inexpensive knife. So Gerber Sumo, thank you for joining me on this review. I'll be doing a couple more reviews coming up, uh, some unboxings coming up. Check for those. Hit the like button. Hit subscribe. Leave me a comment. I will get back to you. And, uh, and I appreciate those who are leaving comments, like hearing from you, and uh, especially about hearing about your knives and your knife stories. So, yes, uh, watch for those things coming up. All right, until we meet again. You stay safe and stay sharp.